How are you doing, Pino? Hey. Good morning. Welcome back to Doing Outdoors. Today we have got to try and get Peanut the Boar around to see the sows which are in the other field. And what we're going to try and do is walk him round, dangling a bit of bread in front of his nose. Hopefully he'll follow us until we get into the main field. And then I'm expecting he'll smell the sows and then make his own way. That's how it's going to go. In a good scenario, he might end up running down the hill and off through the woods. Making all froth in his mouth. Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, well, that went as well as we could have expected, really. He's in with the girls. I was pretty sure that as soon as he caught wind of them, I knew he'd want to run straight over here. The only concern I've got at the minute is that he's not trained to an electric fence. So I just need to make sure that we've got all the voltage going through this fence. That's going to give him a good bang if he walks into it. And now it's time to get these little piggies into the trailer. Try and split them off, males and females. Ready for the males to go to the abattoir Monday morning. We've got the trailer backed up. Just going to move the electric fence over. So they've got a clear way into the trailer and then tempt them in with some food. So we've got all the piglets into the trailer. Now comes the hard part. We've got to separate the boys from the girls. We're just going to let them eat all the food that I had to use to get them in the trailer. Once all that's gone, we'll use some more food to try and tempt the girls out. And what I'll do is I'll stand it in there, to try and single a girl, a guilt, uh, open the gate, force it out with my knees. Fingers crossed, we can get all the girls out. It's just going to make things a lot easier come Monday when I want to take all the boys to the abattoir. So it was just yesterday that we got the boy piglets out of their pen. We brought them over here. They're now spending some time in what was Peanut's pen. They're only gonna be in here one more night though because tomorrow morning I'll be loading them onto the trailer and taking them to the abattoir. But you can see that they're enjoying themselves. It must be good getting onto some hard, harder ground. It's not really firm, but it's nowhere near like the swamp they've just come from. But they're desperate for some food, so I best sort them out. So it's getting dark up here now, but at quarter to six tomorrow morning I'm going to be up here back in the trailer up to the gateway and loading these seven boys 
onto the trailer and then it's a 40 minute drive to the abattoir. So we are now on Monday and I've just gotten back from taking the pigs to the abattoir. And you know what, it went as well as could be expected. Getting them onto the trailer this morning because it was only a couple of days ago when I moved them round from one pen to the other in the trailer, they, they must have associated that the trailer contains a lot of food because as soon as I dropped the back down, all seven of the pigs ran straight on, which was really good for me. And then getting to the abattoir end, uh, they walked straight out. There was no squealing, no stress. Uh, it went really, really well. And it's, it's, it is a bittersweet situation. We've had these pigs from day one, since they were born. We've fed them, we've watered them, we've given them love. We've tried to give them the best life possible. So then to see them go off uh, and get slaughtered, it is sad, but it's just a reality that if you want to eat meat, something's going to have to die. My main goal is to try and give these animals the best quality of life that I can possibly give them whilst they are alive uh, and hopefully that will be reflected in the quality of meat that I get given back. So they are at the abattoir uh, and they're going to be butchered uh, at the abattoir as well. I don't know when the meat is going to come back, probably be about a week I expect. Um, but yeah, the process is now complete. So I've got some big plans for when this pork comes back home. I'm going to make some bacon, obviously, some back bacon, streaky bacon. I've got some good recipes for some sausage. So I'm going to make a lot of sausage. I've all, I'm also planning to make a lot of salami. And obviously the standard roasting joints will also be going into the freezer. But thanks for watching, as always. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And I'll see you next time. Oh, they love me, Daddy. They love me, Daddy. They love me. Even my mother loves me. Even the mother knows me. Big wheelers. How are you doing? Good morning, pig wieners.